Well, I'm not sure you can be helped. <laughs> I'm not sure that you can be encouraged if this message doesn't be here, because I know it encourages me. And uh, uh, there are some things that are going on that I wanted to mention to you before, but we'll mention it to you later. All right, it's going on with the church. Uh, and so this scripture helped still encourage me. Yes, and so uh, when you when you look at this particular verse, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you read and study this verse, yeah. this verse will give you some confidence yes, sir. in the power of God. Amen. Amen. Now I want everybody to get your Bible. All right. Whatever you're doing, this is Bible time. All Amen. right. Now. And I want you to turn with me to Romans chapter 8. Uh-huh. Amen. Uh, and we're going to read verse number 28. All right. Romans 8. Uh, and we're going to read verse number 28. All right. Man. And we know that all things work together for good. To those who love God, to those uh, who are a call according to his purpose. Now I'm going to read it from the King James. And we know that all things work together for good to them. Yes, sir. Now that's the one I want. That's the word yeah, I want. Yeah, yeah. Those of them, same thing. Yeah. Uh, and we know. That all things work together to good uh, to them. Yeah, yeah. I'm working on them today. All right. All right. That I uh, love God. Yes, sir. Yes. Here we go again. To them. Yeah, yeah. Who are called according to, to his, his purpose. purpose. All right. Paul is telling the Romans. Yeah. He said, and we. No. Yeah. See, it's one thing to think you know, well, uh -huh. and it's another thing to know. To, know. to, know. Yes, sir. to have some facts. All right. Yeah. Paul is saying we have facts. We know. We not guessing. We don't doubt. Yeah. We are the believers because we know. Yeah. All right. That all things. Not some things. <laughs> Paul said all things. Wait yeah. a minute, Smith. What did Paul say? We know yeah. that all that whatever the situation yeah. is, yes, sir. we know that all situations. Yes. We know. Oh, somebody say, "Man, we know." I ain't gonna pass this note until I get some amen. 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 We know. Yes, sir. Yes, if you're going through something, you have to know. I know yeah. That's why I preach out. That's it. Huh? Yes, sir. You got to know that God is going to bring you yeah. through. Oh, yes. He says, uh, all things yes. work together yeah. for good. That means my bad and yeah. the good yeah. is going to work together. Yes. Come on. He Beautiful. says, uh, to them, yeah, that, 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 that is, I yes, sir. All right? yes, yes. Yeah, I, you know, I'm going to come back to that them. All right. He says that love God. Yes. All right. To them who are called according to his purpose. Yes. In order to love God, yes. you have to keep his command. Yes. Yes. That's part of You can't love God without keeping his commandments. All right. But what is the focus this morning? Yeah. I'm going to focus on them. All right. Huh? All right. It's a certain select group. Paul says to them. Yeah. Yes. Huh? All right. That love God. Yes. In order to love God, you got to keep his To them that keep his commandments. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Huh? All right. So it tells me. Paul says, and we know yes. that all things work together for the good to them. Yes. Yeah. That means that it's a more folk that it don't work out for. Yes. Huh? Yes. Huh? Yes. yes. But he says to them yeah. that yeah. love God, yeah. all things yeah, yeah, yeah. work together. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? That's it. Amen. See, when you look at them, 
them represent a select group of people. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So with that being said, this morning, uh, is a subject is in the form of a question. All right. Uh -huh. Are you well, one of them? All right. Uh -huh. yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Are you yes, sir. Yes, sir. one of them? Oh, yes. Uh -huh.
commanded his people not to deal with a select group of them. Amen. All right. Amen. God told us, go down and deal with the heathen nation. Huh? Yes. Don't fool with them. Huh? Yes. He said, why? Because you are a peculiar people. Yes. A holy nation. You got to take pride in being part of them. Yes, sir. Then when we look at 2 Corinthians 6 and verse 4. Huh? 2 Corinthians 6 and verse 4. What are you talking about? <laughs> you have to know what them to hang around. Amen. 2 Corinthians 6 and verse number 14. Amen. Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. That's them other them. Amen. Yes. Huh? Yes. That's them other them. Yes. He says, uh, for what? Fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness. Yes, well, didn't I just tell y'all? Didn't I just tell y'all? Yeah. You got two dims. Yeah, huh? yeah. And the two dims don't mix. Yeah. Huh? All right. He says, what righteousness have with lawlessness? And what communion has light with darkness? Right. Light and darkness can't, co uh, hey, can't, can't exist at the same time. Amen. They can't coexist yes. at the same time. Yes, Amen. Huh? Amen. So we're going to pick light. Yes, sir. Or we're going to pick dark. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Quit playing with God. Well, Amen. As though uh -huh. he don't have enough sense to know the difference between them. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so in Deuteronomy 22, listen to this, Chip. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 9 and 10. Yeah. You should not sow your vineyard with different kinds of seed. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh. Least uh, the yield of the seed which you sow and the fruit of your vineyard be defiled. Mm. So what he's saying is, you don't plant, you don't make a row. You know how when you, you plant and you got to make rows down the, 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 the vineyard, down the field, yeah. and you got to plow, plow a straight row. Yes. He said, you don't take two different kind of seeds and put them in the same row. All right, I appreciate it. Amen. Huh? You don't let two type of seeds grow together. Amen. Amen. If you're going to plant a row of watermelons, just let it be watermelons. Yeah. Yeah. A row of tomatoes, be tomatoes. My grandmother had a very big garden in, uh, in her backyard. <laughs> I've never seen her plant uh, pepper, hog, peas, and onions in the same row. Amen. Yes. Because they don't grow together. Amen. You got to understand that Christians don't grow with the word. Right. Now, you can go with the word. Amen. But you can't grow All right now. with the word. Look, 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 yeah, yeah, you yeah. can go yeah. with the word, yeah. but you can't grow yeah. with the word. Amen. Huh? Yes. And so, look. People don't know the difference. But listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to verse 10. Verse 10 said, You should not plow with an ox and a donkey together. All right. Yeah. Huh? Uh -oh, uh oh Yeah. Yes, sir. See, both of them can plow, but they are two different types of animals. Mm -hmm. They are two different heights. Mm -hmm. They got two different understandings. <laughs> 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 they, got two, they got two different understandings. Huh? Yeah, all right. That donkey is stuck. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So when an ox want to go, yeah. the donkey, he ain't going to go. Yeah. So he said, no, put an ox and a donkey together. Yeah. You won't get no work done. Uh, huh? Amen. See, you can't be in the world and deal with a donkey. Amen. That's you got yeah. some stubborn folks in the world. Amen. You don't talk about God all day long and keep on talking. And keep on showing them, and these donkeys of the world, they'll keep on being stuck. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm coming to church, I'm coming, I'm coming, and, and then they see me, they've been told me two years ago. That's yeah. what I check on. I'm coming to visit. <laughs> <laughs> and they think that's going to pass me. Yeah. <coughs> uh -huh. Now, I, I want you to come, but if you don't come, it ain't going to change nothing. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Guess what? We still move forward. Yes. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. Even when we go through some business hit, hit the, uh, hiccups, <laughs> we start to <laughs> You know why? Because all things work together. Amen. Huh? Amen. All things work together 
for good. Amen. Yeah. To them that love God and call according to his purpose. Yes. Amen. See, it, sometimes you can go through some things, but as long as it works out for good. Yes. Huh? Yes, sir. I, 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 I'm going to tell y'all something, church. And, and let me say this. When your big thing is not moving like you want to. Yes. Pay attention to the little thing. Yeah. Amen. That God is doing. Amen. Yes. That's it. Pay attention to the things that God I, is showing you through other people. Yes. That's part of them. Yes. I'm talking about the them folks that hang out. Yes. See, I like to hang out with the them folks. Them spiritual folks. Yes. Huh? Yes. And so something happened the other day that I, I have never just seen this happen before. Yeah. And I'm working on Pam's car. And I bought the part that the code said was wrong with the car. All right? Yeah. But when you know one of them, somebody say amen. Now, yeah, right? man, I'm paying attention to yeah, that. Yeah, huh? yeah. When you know one of them, yeah. you can get some things happening. Yeah. Yeah. And so I called Brother Vince. I said, Vince, I ain't never. I changed what the code said. And so I might have to put it on your lip and just go through the car, figure out what's wrong with this car. Because right. I got to get that check in the light out. Yeah. Right. And so, uh, Ben said, well, Jay, in my experience, All right. you can't buy a Chrysler part at Amazon. Amen. Huh? Uh -huh. And in my mind, I'm like, ah, that don't make no sense. <laughs> uh, just a part don't make no sense. Right. But then, uh, he said, but because I have an experience yeah. by changing a part from a Chrysler, and it didn't work because I bought it from Amazon. Amen. Yeah, that's it. So I went to the dealership and bought this same part. I said, now Vince got me buying the same part. I already spent my money already. I said, but he wanted them. He wanted them. He wanted them. And uh, I, I put that part on my car. All right. And hit that reset button. Come on now. Boy, that price was just woke up. Boy, that price was just woke up. Amen. 
recognize that God is working with me. See, now, everything ain't like I want it to be, but I know all things work together. Yeah. Yeah. God will yeah. put it all together. Uh, yeah. yes. As long as I remain Whoa. one of them. But some of I step out the box of them. That's for you. To them. I want you to know, man. See, there's something special about being part of them. In John chapter 10, beginning at verse number 25, it's something special to be one of them. Jesus says, and Jesus answered them. I told, wait a minute now, not, not, the, good, not the good them, uh, the bad them. Huh? And Jesus answered them, I told you. And you did not believe. That's them. See, that's yes. a bad thing. Yes. He says, the works that I do in my Father's name, these testify of me. Yes. Yes. So the same thing that represents him yes. represents me. Amen. Yes. Amen. What I do for him, I'm doing for me. Because yes. yes. the Father and I are one. Yes. And so he says, verse 26, but you do not believe because you are not my sheep. Well, you are not one of them. Yes. He said, my sheep hear my voice and I know them. He said, my sheep, they hear my voice and I know them. Yes. That same them and He says, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them. Yes. And they follow me. And I give them, or I, he says, I, and, I, and they follow me. And I give eternal life to them. Yeah, and they will never perish. And no one will snatch them out of my hand. My father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one is able to snatch them yes. out of the father's hand yes. I and the father are oh, one yes. he says so if, if, if they can't snatch them out of the father's hand they can't snatch them out of mine amen. 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 he says do them Beautiful. Yes, sir. What, is them, what, what, what's, what is so special about them well, they hear my voice. Yeah, yeah. Yes. How he said that they don't even follow another voice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He said my father has eternal life set up for them. Yes. I think some of y'all missed All that. All right, now. Uh, he said they have eternal life set up for them. Yes. As long as I'm walking with God, he said nobody can snatch them Beautiful. out of my father's hand. Yes. That God got you, God is hugging you. Yes. A God is holding your hand. Yes. And can't nobody pull you away from God. Yes. Huh? Yes. As long as you have the mindset to be one of them. Yes. Lord, have now mercy. you can let God's hand go. Well, yeah. Huh? No you yeah. can let God's hand go and start running. No uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Sometimes when I'm you know, somewhere with Piper and I'm trying to hold Piper's hand in the stove. Yeah. And somewhere else she want to go. So you know, sometimes we ask. Sometimes we want to go somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, we, yeah. we we want we don't want to just keep walking with God. We see something out there in the world. Yeah. A toy. Yeah. In the world. Yeah. And we want that toy. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And so Piper, she'll snatch her hand and 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 try to run off, and I have to grab her. Uh -huh. Huh? Yeah. Or sometimes if I'm holding her. You know, you have to hold her a little baby. And you said, man, this little bitty baby, and you know, they pack about two, and man, when a baby want to get out of your arm, yeah. they will get out of your arm. I ain't understand the physics, the, the physics on that. <laughs> that baby can scoot and get down. Good, great. Sometimes we do God the same way. Yeah. Well. yeah. We scoop and get down. Lord, I don't want to get down. I don't want yes. to carry you no more. Uh-huh, yeah. Huh? Amen. 
Amen. Not knowing you're going to get tired after a while. Yes, sir. Huh? Amen. Somebody else say amen. 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 Huh? Loving God is a character of them. Yes, sir. Loving God is a char characteristic, rather, of them. Matthew 22, verse 37 and 38. Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord, your God, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. Yes, sir. Huh? In order for you to be one of them, you got to show God some love. All right. You got to love with all your heart, yes. all your mind, yes. and all your soul. Amen. Huh? Yes, and he said, this is the first and great commandment. Yeah, all right. This is the second is love your neighbor, you love yourself. Amen. And then in the Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse number 12. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse number 12. And, uh, and now, O oh Israel, what does the Lord your God ask of you but to fear the Lord yes, sir. your God by walking in all his ways? Yes. To love him, Man. to serve the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul. You got to love him. That's it. You got to walk with him. Amen. And then, 2 John 1 and verse 6. 2 John 1 and verse 6. This is the love. That we walk according to his commandments. Yes, sir. This is the commandment. I, that as you have heard from the beginning, you should walk in it. Yes, sir. Yes. It's yes. all right. You, you can't love God without keeping his commandments. Amen. Amen. Every time you veer away uh, from God, I'm going to say this to you, church. Let's get our Wednesday night back to where it was. Amen. Amen. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Let's get our Wednesday. Don't, don't sit at home watching television on Wednesday. Set your, uh, 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 I know, uh, what, what you call that? Uh, what, what, what we have, Pam? Uh, Comcast. Is that what we have? Uh, what we got? Spectrum. Yeah. And, and you can set the TV. You can record your show. <laughs> huh? Yeah. yeah. And see, some of us got other things going on besides coming out and learning to be better than them. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. And see, you two give them say to yourself, I'm going to let them take care of it. Yeah. I'm going to let them go. Yeah. They're not going to miss me. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. We need to get back to being part of them. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We don't have what's in our Bible class just to say that we have it. Yeah. We have it because we want to learn more and be better than toward Christ. Amen. Yeah. Got yeah, folks missing on Sunday morning. Don't know where they are. You yeah. see them one Sunday, don't see them another Sunday. Yeah. Why? Amen. Because they're hanging out with them yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. in the Word. Amen. Amen. And not them in the house of God. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. They got up Sunday morning and they made a choice on what them they were going to hang out with. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah. And so as I close, in my conclusion, you know, when you want them, them, them folk, they know what they know. You can't change them folk mind right. when it comes to Christ yes. and how to serve. Right. Yes. Huh? Yes. Their minds are already made up on how to serve God in spirit and in truth. Yes. Look at 1 John chapter 5, verse 13, in my conclusion. 1 John chapter 5, beginning at verse 13. He says, These things I have written to you yes, sir. who believe. Now, uh, for the believers, them. Uh huh, them. That's them. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. He said, These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know. I told you, them folk, them believers, yeah. they <laughs> know what they know. Yeah. Huh? Amen. He says, that you may know that you have eternal life. See, when you got some folks that know, them folk yes. that know, see, if I know there's a hell, yes. why would I do my best to try to go? Amen. Mm. Let me say that again, because I think somebody missed Come that. Come on now. If I know there's a heaven and a hell, let me, let, me, let me say it that way. Why don't I do everything in my ability to make it to heaven? Amen. Since I know. Yes. So you got the first 
not if you know there's a heaven. Yes. Yeah. Right? So if you said that person, I know there's a heaven. Yeah. And I know there's a hell. Yeah. yeah. But why are you doing everything to go to hell? Oh, Amen. Huh? Yeah. Why? Y'all didn't stop going down there. See that same person that Lord I sin and pray about sin. Church again. First come down and uh, repent, do the same thing, and then go back out in the world, do the same thing. And then keep playing with God. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's gonna forgive me. Uh, Lord, forgive me. He's gonna forgive me. Uh -huh. One day he said, I'm gonna come back as a thief yeah. in the night. That's uh, it. When you think it's all safe. Yeah. At the, when you least expect it. That's it. That rich man said, look at all my fun. Look at all my success. Yes. Look at everything I got. Yes, sir. I got so much, I'm going to turn this down and build some bigger bones to hold all my stuff. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. And he said, die fool. Tonight, your soul is required of you. Good. Huh? Good. See, you missed out on being them. Yeah. See, when you stand before God, you're going to have to be one of them. Yes, sir. To get in the air. Amen. You're going to have to show your badge that you want it in. Amen. Huh? Yes. Huh? Yeah. It feels good. See, I was at a job the other day. And they gave me a badge in this high-rise bill to go into some other uh, offices. And I went up there. And now, I don't want this to happen to me on the heaven side. So I had a badge. And they told me that badge was set up to work. And I was boop, boop, boop. And it went green and then red. Green and red. Yeah. Green, real quick, so I think I'm going to let you in. And then the red was like, no, I'm not going to let you in. Yeah, yeah, huh? yeah. When you get to heaven, and what if you go up to the, up to, up to the pearly gates and they got a, a reader, <coughs> car reader on the gate? Man, that made me feel so bad that I couldn't get in. And another man that got out the elevator with me that worked in the building, he let me in with his bed. But when you get up into the heaven, right, yeah. I'm not using my badge on you. Huh? Yeah. I'm not using my badge on you. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I'm not letting you in with my badge. Yeah. First of all, if your badge don't work, that means you wasn't part of them. That's right. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. And that means that if I let you in, you're going to let some more folk in that's like you. Yes. And guess that oh. yes. oh. yes. So guess what? We're going to have to understand that we got to be spiritual and serious about being one of them. Yes. God's servant. Revelation chapter 7 verse 9. <laughs> Heaven said, and after these things I look and behold a great number. There was no man could know. Of all nations, tribe, people, and tongue, and they standing before the throne and before the Lamb, hung with white robes and palm branches in their hands. And one of the elders said to me, Who are these that are raised in these white robes? Oh, have mercy. He said, You know. Help us, Lord. Help us. Huh? Message, George, you come by hearing, believing, repenting, confessing, and going down that watery grave. 